Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Stokes, and we're going to talk a bit about gallbladder flushes. <coughs> so a gallbladder flush is a very popular procedure in alternative medicine. Basically, you take a lot of oil and um, overnight, and the next morning you have a lot of bowel movement, in which in the bowel movement you'll find supposedly gallstones. These are going to be all various, various sizes, some small, some big, usually they're stained, usually they're green or brown in color, um, and they are distinguishable from the regular bowel movement that you're going to see in the toilet. But people report getting hundreds of these, and um, the problem is, is that it's not true, it's not real. So you cannot flush out large stones out of your gallbladder. The, um, the duct work from the gallbladder is limited in size. And so when you do a gallbladder flush and you get, so for example, like a three-quarter of an inch stone in the toilet, what you're getting is not a gallbladder stone at all, but instead it's just bowel movement. The, the oil and the concoction you're drinking is creating essentially soap in your colon. And these are soap balls that are basically in the toilet. They're not gallstones. And um, I wish they were gallstones because it would make it a lot easier, but they're not gallstones. Now, um, I made a video on this about 10 years ago and I got a lot of criticism. Okay, this week's rant, gallbladder flush. Gallbladder flush. So I have a patient that came to me today and said, oh, doctor, I did the gallbladder flush and man, I had hundreds of gallstones uh, come out in my poop. And, um, you know, why didn't you tell me I had gall gallbladder trouble, doctor? Okay. If you're not familiar with it, you can Google it. The gallbladder flush has been around for a long time. Basically, you take a huge amount of oil, like a cup of olive oil, and then you wait, and then you take uh, some uh, lemon juice, okay? And uh, some salt, usually. And this stuff is supposed to go into your body and miraculously make your gallbladder release all the stones that are supposedly in your gallbladder. And then the next day, when you go to the bathroom, you're going to have ballistic diarrhea, you get a flashlight, and they actually recommend you go and you, you can look in the toilet and you can count all these stones that are floating in the toilet. Okay, so first, that's not what happens. And um, <clears throat> since then, in my clinic, I've acquired a diagnostic ultrasound. In fact, we have the Butterfly IQ portable diagnostic ultrasound system that we use. And so I personally have a gallstone and it's asymptomatic, but I thought I would try it. So I scanned my uh, gallbladder, and there's the image of my gallstone. Then I perform the gallbladder flush. The next morning I uh, excreted <laughs> a lot of gallstones supposedly in the toilet. I'm not going to show you the video of that. But there was uh, a lot of interesting formations in my stool. I rescanned my gallbladder and lo and behold my stone was still there. <laughs> So the gallbladder flush is 100% false. It may be beneficial for your gallbladder just to take all that oil and to flush bile through the, through the gallbladder. Uh, that, I can see how that could be beneficial, but you're not going to remove stones. Uh, certainly not large stones. Um, anything you're seeing in the toilet, it's false. Now if you do have a bad gallbladder, you have to be aware that once they get bad, they usually remain bad and need to be taken out. 
it's very difficult to cure your gallbladder. However, if you're interested in that, I have a support protocol that I give some of my patients. It's the same protocol that I use myself. It has maintained the health of my gallbladder. The stone has not become embedded in my own case. Uh, the inflammation stays low. And it's helped me a lot over the years. And so that protocol may be something worth looking into. It involves a special diet. And as far as therapy goes, I find PEMF, pulse electromagnetic field therapy, on the gallbladder, pulsing the gallbladder with these high uh, intensity magnetic fields, maintains the health of the gallbladder, uh, keeps the gallbladder from getting sluggish, maintains bile flow in the gallbladder, which is essential. I mean, the reason you're getting stones in the first place is because the, the, bladder, the gallbladder is being stagnant. You're not getting a lot of flow of bile through that, through that organ. If the bile is flowing, then you're not going to get stones form. The stones form when there is stasis, when the bile is in the bladder and it's not constantly being released you know, into the small intestine, this is the problem. And so, really, gallstones are just a symptom of something deeper, which is gallbladder dysfunction. So, gallbladder flushes, in my opinion, are not um, as advertised, we'll say. <laughs> I don't believe that they're going to really be beneficial to removing the stones. They may be beneficial to increasing the health of the gallbladder, but they're not removing stones, and I've proven that. Um, so, hope this was beneficial. Please spread the word. And if you're interested in the gallbladder protocol that I use in my clinic, click on the link and you can follow up with me on that. Have a great day.